Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. <clears throat> As introduced, I'm Sergeant Nick Wilshire of the Calgary Police Service, the Crime Prevention Team. We're here today to encourage Calgarians to exercise the 9 p.m. routine, which we initially launched in 2018 as a way to help citizens secure their homes, cars, property, and other valuable items. Between March 2020 and March 2021, there have been 19,684 car prowlings and 4,369 break and enters reported to Calgary Police. We see crimes of opportunity increase throughout the warmer months when it can be easier to leave windows open, doors unlocked and valuable items in plain view. The 9 p.m. routine is a simple checklist that anyone can use on a daily basis to ensure their property is secure the night before going to bed in an effort to help minimize the opportunity of certain crimes like theft, including identity theft and vehicle theft, car prowlings and break and enters. We also are seeing increased activity in parkades where vehicles are left unlocked with various belongings stored inside them, including personal documents such as mail and wallets. If these are stolen, citizens are at risk of falling victim to identity theft. Identity theft is a crime with no clear finish line and can be a problem for months after the fact. The 9 p.m. routine recommends to citizens that they remove valuables from vehicles, ensure vehicles are locked and windows are closed, if possible, parked in a garage. Close garage doors and windows. Lock any person doors in the garage, including those leading into the house. Check all the house doors, front, back, side and garage are locked. Ensure all windows are shut and turn on an exterior light. We encourage anyone who is a victim of car prowling, break and enter or other property crime to report the incident to the police as quickly as possible so that important evidence can be collected quickly and each crime thoroughly investigated. Citizens can report crimes to Calgary Police Service at the 403-266-1234 number and tips can also be submitted anonymously to Crime Stoppers. I'm now ready to take any questions. Thank you, Sergeant Wilshire. We'll now begin the Q&A portion. So if anybody has a question, please type it into the question box and I will call on you to ask your question. All right, we have Steve uh, from 660 News. Please go ahead and ask your question. There, thanks for taking my question. Uh, there was a recent report of uh, robberies on downtown LRT platforms. Is there gonna be increased presence of officers during peak times uh, around transit? Uh, I am aware that one district are looking into that because that is their, their focus and they will be focusing their beat teams on that issue, yes. Uh, and a quick follow-up uh, as well too. Um, how do today's numbers uh, in the release compare to years prior and is it an increase or decrease that we've seen uh, due to the pandemic? Okay. Um, it's hard to compare to the 2019 or the 2020 figures uh, as due to the pandemic, they are slightly skewed. Comparing them to the 2019 figures, they're not as high as those, but as we start to see a return to normality, we are seeing a slight uptick in that. So we're starting this campaign so that we can actually keep those figures low. Does anybody else have any questions? I'll just give it a couple minutes here in case somebody has a question here. Okay, last call for questions. Okay, I guess that concludes. Oh, sorry, we've got Matthew from Global. Please ask your question. Thanks, sorry about the uh, the delay there. Uh, I know you briefly mentioned the 
the string of robberies that have been happening uh, in downtown. Um, just in terms of that, uh, how much of a concern is that? Um, and what would, I guess, your overall safety message be for people that are walking around downtown later in the evening? Okay. It, it is a concern to us, rightly so. Um, what we would recommend to people is to always ensure that they're fully aware of their surroundings. Um, if you're wearing earphones, we would really recommend that you uh, certainly at least leave one ear free so that you can actually hear what is happening around you. Keep a good eye line of what's happening around you. Be conscious. Remember to stay in the light. Um, keep valuables uh, ideally in a secure bag, say something like a backpack that's on your shoulder, more difficult to pull from you. Uh, and if someone does try to take something from you, just let it go uh, and let them take that because your life is more valuable than the contents of your, your purse or wallet or anything like that. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Matthew. Does anybody else have any other questions? All right, I'll do another last call for questions. Okay, that concludes the Q&A portion for today. Thank you everybody for joining us. And we will have uh, more information to follow on our social media pages as we continue throughout the summer months. Thank you.